Hello, everyone, and welcome to our introductory video on exploring Ireland's peace through law, music, and culture with our delegation host, Richard Pena, happening later this year on September 17th to the 27th, 2024. We're so excited to have you joining us for this introductory video, but we're gonna be even more excited to have you join us in Ireland later this year. And I'm excited to have Nicola join us from Nanda Journeys, our founder. Hi, Nicola. It's always a pleasure to talk to you about travel, and this is one of my favorite destinations, so I'm always excited to talk about Ireland as well. Yeah, always excited to talk about Ireland. Um, all my grandparents are from Ireland, so this one sits a little bit close to home for me. Um, so welcome, everybody. Welcome to Nanda Journeys. If it's the first time here, welcome to the Nanda family. Um, that's how we think of everybody here at Nanda Journeys, a company I founded in 2015 after a lifelong career in the travel industry in England and also here in the United States. I fell in love with the connection of travel, the transformative power of travel, and more importantly, with connecting people all over the world. So welcome everybody to the Nanda family. Um, something that I'm really proud of, and Michael and I love talking about this, um, it's the Nanda way. And this isn't something that has been developed by us or around a brain think tank. Um, it came to us organically through our leaders, our travelers, um, people that we collaborate with locally, and they just kept talking about, we love the Nanda way as compared to maybe some other ways that people travel internationally. So we thought we'd run with that because we love the Nanda way too. And it's just the way we approach our program development. It's always purposeful. It's always with um, a curiosity for a different culture. So that makes it immersive and authentic. Um, we try and keep your travel dollars as local as possible to the places you're visiting. So you can have the most profound experience, um, both socially, economically, and transformatively for the people you visit. And we always have small groups. We don't believe in packing a bus um, and we always keep our groups small. And my favorite, um, we don't have a brochure because everything is created unique and is bespoke for each individual group. So we're excited to talk to you about um, Ireland and what we have in store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love I love the name the way you say your favorite is the bespoke itineraries. I'd have to say my favorite is actually what we're going to talk about next, and that's the leaders, the delegation leaders that make these journeys so unique. And this is no exception. Richard Payne is one of our best leaders. Tell us a little bit about the delegation leader that's going to be taking us to Ireland this year. We're so very fortunate to um, have Richard as part of the Nanda family. Um, Richard has led 20 international delegations. Um, my colleagues and I have been involved in developing those over the years and taking them all over the world. Um, but he's a very highly esteemed and respected um, lawyer in his local community in Austin, Texas. But also nationally, I think something that um, I'm really proud of and congratulate Richard um, publicly here in this forum. Um, he's just been presented with the National Conference of Bar Presidents um, 2024 Fellows Award. So he's going to be recognized and rightly so at an upcoming dinner that they have planned um, next month. So congratulations, Richard. Um, it's a coup having you as our leader. And we're excited to have you join us again back in Ireland. Yeah. And one of the reasons why he is leading this in, in, in journey is because it is a career enrichment journey, which adds so much more beyond the culture and the people and the warm Irish welcome. It adds that personal and professional development as well. So tell me a little bit about, tell us a little bit about this career enrichment journey and how it might be a little unique for those that are in the law profession kind of looking to join us on this journey to Ireland. Yeah, and this is a, a wonderful picture that you selected here, Michael, of the group that was recently in Ireland. They were there this past fall, and this is one of their professional exchanges. So we really focus on professional development um, for a couple of different reasons. One, it allows you an opportunity to expand your knowledge, your international knowledge. Um, it expands and broadens your um, network, um, deepens your relationship with people internationally. But it also augments the cultural experiences as a diverse world and a smaller world these days. It's really important that we acknowledge and understand different cultures, their history, and why that might have influence on both our professional and personal lives today. Um, and these journeys will be um, qualifying for MC MCLE credits. Um, so they will be applied for through the Texas Bar Association. 
Um, and we will also provide everybody with the necessary paperwork to apply for your own credits within your own state. So what does that mean? It's really important one for everybody is that expenses are deductible as a necessary and reasonable business expense. So it allows you to explore the world in a profound and meaningful way and get a little write-up on your taxes. Coming up here soon, folks. <laughs> yeah, always top of mind when you're a business owner. Um, yeah. yeah, and I love the idea of this cultural journey also being a career enrichment journey. It's one of the things that I would say, you bring your old friends with you, you take your new friends, take new friends back with you. Um, it's almost like you take your old, your colleagues with you and you make a brand new network. Um, and that's one part about, you may be in Ireland, but you're also building your professional network, which is a okay. really, really cool way to see the world. So talking about our itinerary to Ireland next year, um, as, I, as I had mentioned, it's 11 days, 10 nights featuring 18 meals. We do have that first night as an overnight flight. We spend two nights in Dublin in the beginning, uh, and then we head south to Cork. We spend two evenings in the city of Cork. From there, we head north to Galway. We spend two evenings in the city of Galway, spending one day visiting the beautiful Cliffs of Moher, which is a must-see in Ireland uh, and something you're going to nest. You're going to take all the pictures that you can of. Uh, and then we head up north to Newcastle, which is just south of Belfast. So it's located in Northern Ireland. So you get a chance to experience Northern Ireland and that culture. It's going to be a big part of our itinerary. And those three nights will be a very meaningful part of the journey before heading back south and, and flying out of Dublin. We won't overnight in Dublin. We'll rather fly out of Newcastle and fly into and, and drive out of Newcastle and fly out of Dublin back home. So there'll be no additional evening at the end. So it's a very, very cool itinerary and has a very, very important mission. Right, Nicola? So tell us a little bit about what this program's mission is all about for those that join us. Yeah, one of the um, obviously the fundamental um focuses of the program is to explore the rule of law in Ireland and to compare and contrast that um, between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland and also learn about the troubles. Um, but an additional layer that we've introduced this year comparative to other programs that we've done with Richard in Ireland before is how does music play a role in the peace process? and the different cultures. And music speaks to everybody, uh, different forms. So we will explore both sides of the, mu the music equation. Um, obviously there is a very political landscape um, to some of these um, uh, stories that you'll hear. And you know, music can be an agent for change too. So yes, it can anchor deep in the roots of conflict, but it also allows moving forward and recognition of the past. So I think it's a very unique spin and congrats to Richard and his delegates this past fall for coming up with the idea. I think it's wonderful. Uh, I mean, we're very familiar with that in the US. A lot of our music, you know, comes, circles around a lot of that, you know, social change and, and, and that sort of thing. So it's a very, very uh, cool way to explore it in another country. And that's what this is all about, right? It's, it's about the culture, but it's also about the professional development. You had mentioned the troubles, you had mentioned some of the challenges that Ireland has had in the past between Northern Ireland and Ireland. And we delve a little bit deeper into that, but also into the legal landscape of Ireland. So tell us a little bit about some of the highlights uh, here in the continuing education and peer engagement. Yeah, our group this past fall, they did delve into the troubles and the peacemaking process, and that will still be a cornerstone of the conversations that you'll have. And we'll revisit a new Nanda family member uh, in Ireland, Turlock O'Donnell. Um, so I'll actually be seeing him um, next month when I visit Ireland. So when we talk about the Nanda family, we really mean that. So we'll be meeting over a pint of Guinness, talking about this journey and how we can continue those really profound conversations we had this past fall. Uh, so Turlock is um, a specialist in the peace process. There are lots of talks that he's given online. Um, he is a um, senior council member um, in Ireland and focuses on mediation. So Turlock is a great resource for us. Um, he took the delegation to the four courts, um, obviously was able to give a really good, strong introductory talk about the conflict, about how law works in Ireland. Um, and also we'll be visiting universities, talking to professors um, about how lawyers, judges trained in Ireland, and then continuing those conversations about the troubles, going south um, to learn about uh, Michael Collins, 
um, very, very important um, in the history of the Republic of Ireland. Um, and we'll have a very um, well curated experience um, down there at his at his home, his warmer home. Um, and again, because of these professional engagements that we're having, these will um, have potential for MCLE credits, should you wish to apply for those for your continuing education. Yeah, and that's an, just a layer on top of the the culture and the warm Irish welcome, the people that are here. And so I've been to Ireland, I know you've been here going back to Ireland, and we both love the country of Ireland for all of the things that it offers and all of the opportunities it offers for their travelers. So the cultural immersion and exploration is a big part of what we do, seeing Cliffs of Moher. But tell us a little bit about a couple of the other things that they'll be seeing. Yeah, the Cliffs of Moher, of course, iconic and not to be missed. Uh, so we are going west on this particular itinerary, as well as further south into the country. So you'll get to see lots of different landscapes. Um, in Dublin, you'll visit the Irish um, Rock and Roll Museum. Who doesn't like a little bit of uh, rock and roll? Um, but we'll also get to have a firsthand experience with the um, Ulster Scots Society. So to learn about their musical influence and how they are still very active in their community and, and talking about their particular perspective on the troubles and the past history and, and what does that look like today and going forward. Um, and the Doolin Music House, one of my favorites, um, uh, Christy Barry. He's a very accomplished uh, musician in the traditional Irish music scene. And Doolin is a very, very important to music history um, in the Republic of Ireland. And um, so you'll get to meet Christy. He tells great stories, um, as the I Irish do, and he'll play wonderful music for you in his home. So this is a really personal experience for you and the rest of the group. And of course, um, there will be a whiskey tasting opportunity for our uh, delegation. Some wonderful um, deli uh, distilleries all across um, Ireland. And this is a new one for Richard and his delegates. So a new experience for everybody. Yeah, I can't go to Ireland without tasting a little bit of Irish whiskey. Um, and obviously, everybody is welcome. We want to have something for everyone. So delegation guests who are, are joining us uh, will also be encouraged to bring a guest because while they're off doing the professional engagement, we th their guests will enjoy privately guided and cultural activities. Um, so that way they have something to do while the pro professional engagement is happening. Tell us a little bit about it. We're running out of time here, but tell us quickly about a little bit of some of those uh, guest experiences that they'll have. Yeah, the, I think the most important thing is that all of our um, guest activities are privately guided. So when the professional members are, are doing their engagements, you will have a wonderful private experience. Going visiting castles, Malahide Castle is a wonderful castle um, just outside of Dublin. Um, the county of Cork and the city of Cork is just truly magnificent, um, as is Galway. So you'll be well taken care of. Um, great opportunities for shopping for those wonderful Irish gifts um, for yourself or for others. And there will be a chocolate tasting experience as well. Yeah. So don't leave the friends at home. Don't leave the wives, the husbands, the, the spouses at home. Definitely bring them along because there's something for everyone. And we hope that you get a chance to join us in Ireland again, September 17th to the 27th. This 11-day, 10-night journey starts at $56.99 per person land only based on double occupancy. If you don't have someone you're traveling with, that single supplement is $999. Or we're able to work with you to find someone to room with if you're looking for a roommate as well. The deposit due is $500 per person that's due at time of, of reservation, along with travel insurance, which is due at time of the deposit as well. One thing we do want to let you know that it is fully refundable up until April 11th, minus a $95 service fee, uh, but space is limited. The reason we mention is better to put your deposit down, hold your seat, make sure it's there. So that way, if the time comes, you decide you can't go, you get most of your money back. We hate telling people that a tour is sold out with a small group like this and the interest that we have. We fully anticipate that we'll get a lot of people on this journey. So with that being said, we really enjoy that you, uh, we really uh, enjoy you joining us. Um, any final words, Nicola? I think come join us in Ireland, join the Nanda family. Um, I'm still seeing and witnessing the exchange of text messages and stories and inquiring about people's business and their family from the group that traveled this past fall. Um, so when we say lifelong friends, we mean it. Uh, so come join us. Um, come ask questions if you have a curiosity about any of the detail that we very, very briefly touched on today. Um, send us an email, give us a call. Um, we're here to chat 
and I uh, hope you'll be able to join us. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Nicola, for joining us. Thank you all for joining us on this amazing video. Uh, and we look forward to having you join us uh, in Ireland in September. See you next time.